Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning about linear equation in one variable. In order to understand linear equations in one variable, let's first try to understand the concept of equality and inequality. Equality is generally represented by an equal to sign, whereas inequality is represented by less than or greater than sign. We will be using a weighing balance analogy to understand equality and inequality. Here I have taken a weighing balance in which one side of the pan is used to put the object whose weight is to be measured and the other side is used to put the weighing scales. Now I will keep two weights of 500 grams each on the left hand side and one weight of 1000 gram on the right hand side. Can you tell what's happening here? This is called an equation where the total weight on the left hand side is equal to the total weight on the right hand side. The balance is now set to be in an equilibrium state. Now here is another condition in which I remove one weight of 500 gram from the left hand side and there is 1000 gram on the right hand side. This is called an inequality where the total weight on both sides of the weighing balances are not equal and any one side is heavier or lighter than the other side. You can also try to make two examples of equality and inequality using any materials of your choice. We can easily find examples of equality or inequality in our daily life. Like a 2 kg weight is not equal to 1 kg of salt and 1 kg of wheat is equal to 1 kg of rice. Now we will see how to solve a linear equation in one variable. Linear equation in one variable simply means that an equation where the value of one quantity is unknown. Here are a few examples of linear equations in one variable. x plus 1 is equal to 4, 2x is equal to 6, 5x minus 2 is equal to 11, etc. Let's consider an example to understand how to solve linear equations. For this activity, we need weights of 100 gram each and we have created them using a few nuts and a bag. In place of nuts, you can use anything that is available to you for the same. To make these weights prominent and durable, you can use a cello tape. And I have used the cello tape for the same and my weights are ready. Let's consider this equation x plus 100 is equal to 400. We can represent this equation using this setup. Here we have an unknown weight x and we have packets of 100 grams each. Now I will add weight x and 100 gram weight on the left hand side of the pan and 4 packets of 100 grams each on the right hand side of the pan. We can clearly see that the balance is now in an equilibrium state. To find the value of the unknown weight x, we need to create a situation where the unknown weight is on one side of the pan and all the known weights are on the other side of the pan. In order to do this, we have to remove a packet of 100 grams from the left hand side of the pan. A point to note here is that whatever action we perform on one side of the pan has to be repeated on the other side of the pan as well. Hence, I will remove one packet of 100 gram from right hand side as well. What do you observe? We can clearly see that the balance is again in an equilibrium state and the unknown weight is equal to 300 grams. Now let us solve another example using the same rule we just discussed. Let's consider an equation 2x is equal to 6. Here we can see that the two unknown variables are on the left hand side and 6 packets of 100 gram each on the right hand side. Now we divide both the sides by 2. Hence we can get 1x on one side and 3 on the other side. Thus we can say that the weight of the unknown is 300 grams. Let us see some daily life examples of linear equation in one variable. 
A shopkeeper tries to put unknown sugar on one side of the pan of weighing balance and known weights on the other side of the pan and tries to make the balances equal. While travelling in an auto, we calculate the total fare by adding the base rate to the total fare per kilometres. This gives us the total amount we need to pay. Only when the both sides of the equation are true, then we can say that our amount is correct. Hope you can now differentiate between equality and inequality and solve linear equations in one variable. Thank you.